All right, you hear this? I will be fixing that. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Well, we're pulling the trailer down the road. No particular place to go. Got sights to see and things to do. If we can do it, so can you. Today is Friday, April 2nd, 2021, and we made it to the public storage place where we can take everything out of the truck and reorganize it all. Don is checking in. Looking forward to getting this truck put back in order. Well, this is the unit they gave us right next to the dumpsters. There's like no room. That's the five by five or is that our unit? That's the five by 10. That's the five by, okay. I hope this is gonna work. It'll work great. Come on. Go ahead, open it. No, come here and help. Oh. Nice squeedle. <sighs> all right. Okay, all of this has got to go in there. Good luck with that. <laughs> Well, we've made some progress so far. We finally got to the primer spill. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, it's peeling right up. Yeah, now we just gotta get to this stuff. Oh, this we found a little sweater for Squeedle in there. It's a chilly day, huh? We should've got you a better coat, little salty dog. This is my album. <laughs> well, we discovered that they took some of the small propane tanks, those little one-pounders, and our Costco wagon, oh, and the wagon. net that was holding everything up there. Across here, yeah. That's gone. They didn't take my fishing pole, though. <laughs> Okay, we got 99% of the stuff out of the truck today. And uh, today's Saturday. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to load up the awning that Don took off the trailer, the office chair that is broken. I have replaced it, and um, Don's old mattress. He had to get a new mattress. The one he had was killing his back. So um, we'll be taking that to the dump on Monday, and then after we get done with the dump, we're going to go probably to Habitat for Humanity to see if they have any cabinets that we can get. Well, today is Wednesday, April 7th, and we never got around to putting the awning into the truck to take it to the dump. And I was watching the Hoarders shows. I'm a real big fan of those. Uh, they're on YouTube and A&E and stuff. And, um, 
they use this company called 1-800-GOT-JUNK. And I thought, well, I really don't want the guys to have to lift all that stuff, take it to the dump, so I'll just call the 1-800-GOT-JUNK guys. So uh, they came out today and took away all, all the stuff. Well, most, most of John's, our friend John, that's whose house we're staying at, and uh, they took away our awning and my broken chair and Don's old mattress and a box full of miscellaneous stuff that he didn't want anymore that was no good or broken or missing parts or whatever. And so yeah, they came today. All right, they bent it in half. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, don't get hurt. Wow. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Wow, they got it in there. That's amazing. Yes, this was so much better than Dawn having to go to the dump, really. There goes Dawn's old mattress. Bye-bye. And more John's junk. This is awesome. Wow. Wow, these guys are working hard. And they're good looking, too. They're just hauling it away. Nice. Oh, they're all done. Didn't take them very long, but well, this guy sure worked hard. So how'd it go? Okay, it went great. All our stuff is gone, and a big chunk of John's is gone. So. How much did it cost? Yeah. Uh, about four hundred and sixty bucks. Well, that's not too bad. I thought it would be more than that. Yeah. Um, I tried but to. Try to convince them. <laughs> take the rest of it? Take the rest, but they wanted way too much. They wanted another 178 bucks to take the rest. So. Oh, wow. We were, John's like, well, I'll just throw some in the garbage every time we put the garbage out. I'll just throw some in there. And there you go, a little bit at a time, and it'll yeah, whittle it down. But the, the main chunk of it is gone. Yeah, and all the hard stuff is gone, like the mattresses and the, the awning. and. I know, know. I filmed the awning. They were stomping on it. They were going Holding through that, trying to get that thing to bend in the middle, you know, and it just wouldn't do it. I told them, I said, just put it on the curb and drive the truck out over it. Over but it, yeah. They tried to put it up on the blocks. I'm like, no, put it on the curb and just drive over it. It'll flatten it, you know. Yeah. But that's all right. <laughs> they did it, it's though. It's done. So the they stuff got is it gone. Done. So, yeah. So, good. It was a good thing. Good thing. Yep. Totally. And he was being so patient. Yeah. I didn't hear him. I didn't, no. you know, he wasn't. I made him not bark. Well, yeah. I just told him no, and he, and he quit, so yeah. he was good. Today is April 8th, and we had to have the sanitation guys come back out again. The uh, black tank got full. So hopefully this will be the last time that we need to have these guys come out here, because we're hoping to be camping by May 1st. All right, this is it, folks. I'm going in. Or not. First the cat woke up, so I couldn't get into it, and now Don's here and he wants dinner. Okay, I finally got the case open. I only broke one tiny little tab, so I, I'm calling that a victory. Next is the fan. Oh no, kitty, no. No, no! Oh, Jesus! Alright, the cat has settled down, and I was able to get the lid off and get the old fan out. Next is to clean up this thermal paste and reapply it. All right, I got the thermal paste off as best as I could, and time to put on the new fan. And hopefully it will stop making that noise. All right, here's the thermal paste I got to put on there. All right, I got the thermal paste on there. It's the best I could do. Kind of sloppy, I know, but. That's it.
All right, the new fan's in place. I just gotta screw everything back together and hope it worked. Okay, the moment of truth. I haven't screwed the lid on yet. Let's see if it makes any noise. Well, I'm running some video stuff and so far it's super quiet. I think we may have a winner. Okay guys, I have lots of windows open, I'm processing a video, and listen. Nothing. Yes. All I gotta do now is screw the lid back on. Ah, silence. Okay, that's it for this week. <coughs> okay, that's it for this week. Um, tomorrow is Friday the 9th, and we are going to go to Habitat for Humanity if it kills us. We'll see you next week. Keep on trucking. <laughs>